Hello everyone, this week on Scottish Road Trips we're going to head up through the majestic Glencoe to a place called Port Appen to visit Castle Stalker. It's a bit of a wild camp this week so there's no campsite to review and we're going to look for somewhere to stay when we get up there, there's nothing planned. I'm going to show you one of the best places I think there is to see otters in the wild in Scotland, uh, which is very accessible. When we get back to the van I'm going to show you my sleeping setup, which I think gives you the best night's sleep in the van without a shadow of doubt. And finally, on the way back down the road, we're going to see the David Stirling Memorial, the founder of the SAS. I hope you enjoy this week's video. So today we've got a bit of an unplanned trip. Uh, we know roughly the area we're going to, but we haven't booked anywhere. We're not planning on staying in a campsite. We're going to go up towards Oban. We're going to go to Port Appen. I want to get some photos of Castle Stalker. The weather looks a bit iffy, so we're not sure how that's going to go either. But we're on our way up the road. It's about, about a three hour journey for us. And we'll just give you an update when we get there. See you soon. Hi, so we've arrived here in Port Appen and uh, look at the views, absolutely stunning. So the plan is we've just been to the pier house for some fish and chips. Highly recommended the pier house in Port Appen, it's really, really nice. We've got the van here in the car park just above the pier house and it seems like it might be overnight uh, stays are permitted so I'm just going to go for a walk down to the peninsula and see what sort of wildlife and views we see. It's coming up for sunset so a uh, great time for a, for a nice walk and taking some photos and stuff. Very cool and very loud. So this is the Cregan Inn and if you didn't know, uh, pulling over here usually very early in the morning or at sunset as we are now is a fantastic time to spot otters. So this island here just immediately to the left of the Cregan Inn is, there's a few otters about here and it's uh, one of the favourite stomping grounds. It's a lovely spot. No, that's a bird. Oh, you're joking me. So, after a day wandering around Argyll and Butte and the Highlands, looking at Castle Stalker, 
port app and we've decided to have a nice easy night. We are up early this morning so we're just going to cook some pasta and sauce and uh, nice, a nice easy tea, a bit of bacon through it and maybe a red pepper or something. We can of beer and then hit the hay early because we're both really tired. So that's us just about to pull the beds out. If you haven't got a VW yet, or you're thinking about getting a VW, then you might wonder how the beds work. Uh, I'm just going to show you quickly how this rock and roll bed works. So as you can see, this is it in driving mode. Seat belts are here. So basically there's a little nut down at the bottom, a locking nut down at the bottom of the uh, seat here. That basically unscrews and the whole bed then just pulls out. So the trick is to make sure that you keep a hold of the ends of the seat belt. They can be fished out but they're a pain in the backside. Yeah. And this then just moves down. And what you'll notice is stored at the back here we've got a memory foam mattress topper which normally when we're in driving mode it's in a plastic bag and it's bungeed to the back to stop it falling out when we lift the boot. Um, this just simply pulls out. There's a a special cutout section there as you can see for the back corner. The other bit of kit that I highly recommend, again I'm not being sponsored or anything, is the, the Duvalet sleeping bags. Not everyone likes them but I have to say I really do enjoy them. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. It's like similar to a sleeping bag but it's got a full size single duvet on it and a memory foam uh, base on it as well. So not only have I got a memory foam mattress topper, I've also got a memory foam base here on the duvalet as well. So ultimate comfort. I'll just roll this out for you so you can see. Held into position with a couple of straps that come with it. And they all come in different colours and so on. Just rolls out and as you can see you've got your memory foam base there with the sheet already built in and that single sheet and then your big duvet and as I say they come in different colours and things so you can choose whatever you like. Okay so that's it, we're ready for bed and have a wee uh, lie down, watch some movies, maybe have another can of beer and um, see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Been up a wee while now, got up, packed everything away and made myself a cup of coffee. Today we were going to do some exploring and stuff, going around the area, but the weather's taken a bit of a turn for the worst and it's a lot windier than forecast. On the BBC weather app it says that it's going to be 6 to 10 miles an hour winds, but I'm telling you right now there's gusts over 30 out there, maybe even 40, and it's absolutely howling it down, so I'm not sure that we're going to do much exploring today, I think we'll just have a a uh, bit of a breakfast and then get the van packed away and have a slow trek down the road. Maybe stop at a couple of places if the weather allows, but if it's crap weather, you know what it's like. You're just huddled up in the van waiting on it passing and uh, in this case we're, we're heading home today so there's no point in sitting it out. So we might as well get down the road. We might take a scenic route or something, there's no rush to get back down the road. So obviously Scotland in bad weather is, is pretty nice as well. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see what it brings us.
So we've stopped on the way home at the memorial for David Sterling, the founder of the SAS. If you don't know where it is, there's a small town called Dun, D-O-U-N-E, near Sterling, and you can you can follow it on the map from there. It's very close. This man who uh, passed away in 1990 was the founding father of what is today um, the SAS regiments. So David Sterling is a wartime hero and he was known as the Phantom Major. He fought hard for the SAS all the way through its formation and then again when it was later disbanded he fought to have it put back together. In fact there are war diaries that have come out uh, since then to prove that he actually kept it going in the background, him and a bunch of others. And so there are many many stories about it online, on Audible and uh, various places and it's a, a really fascinating uh, history of uh, how our British Special Forces came about. How fantastic is Glencoe, especially with that covering of snow on top. I absolutely love that. And the views in Port Appen, I mean, that was just absolutely stunning. To have the weather like that, the sunset, it was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like below and uh, do subscribe to the channel. We're hoping to put content out every week and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, guys. Bye.